Hi everyone. Um, like I said, I'm going to stream if I use FME or record at least. So I'm using FME, so I'm recording. Uh, what I'm looking at today is a user on GIS Stack Exchange was asking why they get a black band uh, of pixels around their raster. And there's various reasons, and um, most of them are easy. I've just got to research because it's sometimes hard to remember how it works. I'm going to research that and, um, and figure it out. And I figured, hey, I'll record it because I think I get to use the raster exp expression evaluator, which is always uh, interesting. Uh, I'm going to reproject the data because that's how you often end up with um, this problem. Let's see, what are we on? We are at UTM 8310. Okay, so. I can say, uh, let's go to BC Albers, just for the heck of it. And that, I hope, will change the shape of the data and put some black around it. There we go, perfect. So the user said, well, how do I get rid of that? Um, and I've got to try and figure it out. I mean, you can't use the clipper there because you can't clip to that. I guess you could clip to that shape and set it to no data in the background, which is one of the things you could do. But it did occur to me that you could just change the color if you just really simply wanted it to be white. Um, and I gotta figure this out. So it's one raster. I think what we have to do is, we have to do each of the bands. Cause I have to say red, oh, where's green, green and blue and let's just check the help because I know there's a good example in here because I helped to make it so okay so it's a zero a one and a two are the bands and I want to know what the if looks like okay so what I want to say is if a zero equals zero, which I think is black, and a oh that was a mistake there. For some reason, you have to do two equal signs. I, I don't know why this is different. It's probably a different sort of math engine, but that means equals. That means not equal. So we're going to have two equal signs because a single equal means assign it this value rather than is it this value. So, but this is very interesting, the raster expression evaluator, because you can do so much with this. Um, okay, so if, okay, I need braces around that. So I'm saying if the red band is black, the green band is black, and the blue band is black, then give it a value of 255. Otherwise, just leave the red band as it is, which is A zero like that. So I think that should do what I want. But I only know that because it's in the help. Otherwise I'd be in trouble. So I'm saying if all the cells are black, then just change them to white. Did that work? Mm. Well, it worked around the edge, but, oh, yeah, that would be an obvious move. Set the blue band to the red. No wonder it looked a funny color. There we go. So we've, we've sort of got rid of that black band um, just by making it white, uh, which is fine here. But then I'm guessing a lot of black pixels on here have ended up white, like that one. So that's something else we'd have, we've got to deal with in a moment. I just want to do this for now, uh, just to prove the point. And you can see they're white cells because the background on the data inspector isn't quite white. It's a little bit bluish. Um, the other way of doing this, I think, would be to add an alpha band and then just copy that. 
And I've got to figure out which is transparent. Is zero transparent or 255? I'd have to check that out. And these we we don't want to set, we just want them to be the same. I think we still have to include them in here though. So Rast is sort of a bit of a puzzle when you start looking at it, but once you start to use it a bit more, whoops, that should be three, not four. We don't have band, because bands start counting at zero. So let's see. Okay, I suspect we don't have an alpha band. So let's add a raster band adder. Yeah, I really love using rasters because once you get into them, really makes a lot of sense. Now we thought that was zero, or I thought it was zero. Okay, I guess we're gonna find out in a second <laughs> whether transparent is... Okay, I think we've set it to fully transparent, so that should be 255. And we don't have a Okay, so that should be 0, 0,255, i.e. we're setting the alpha band if all of the cells are black, then set it to transparent, else set it to opaque. So let's try that. Yay, we've got that. Now, of course, the problem there again is that we, we can end up with cells that are transparent just because they're in the middle and they, and they had a black value, which is not particularly helpful. Um, we could set no data as well, but that would have the same issue. Like if I just set, oops, no Dara, no data. If I just set a no data value and set that to zero, I think we'll have the same problem. Like everything. Yeah, see that's set to no data because it's zero. Um, and it's even set to no data when everything, when other aspects are zero. So that would be a bit of an issue. Uh, but at least you don't see the border anymore. So anyway, so what we've got to do, I think we've got to find a value that we can use because You've got from zero to two five five, and we can't. We, we need a value to either make white or to make alpha transparent or to uh, set to no data. So what I'm going to do, and I think this is how it works. I'm going to just duplicate this because I'm going to say. Yeah, really. I really wish I'd copied it before I got rid of those expressions. Okay, so I'm going to say if it's zero, actually, I don't even need all of that. I'm just going to say if the value for this band is zero, then set it to one, else just set it back to what it is. See, this all depends on where the problem's being created and I don't know from this user where it's being created and you'll see what I mean in a moment so if so what we're doing we're just sort of shuffling that pixel from zero to one and making sure we've got no zero values and that way um, if if we say it's zero and we're adding it to Okay, you'll see in a moment. So what I have to do is I have to put that before the reprojector. Basically, I have to do this before the source of those pixels goes on. So I shouldn't have any values there of zero in this raster. And the raster statistics calculator should show me that. It should tell me the minimum for um, yeah, I want to know the whole, I want to know the minimum for all of them, but whatever. 
So that should tell me there's no zero values in there. Yeah, so the minimum is one. That's great. We've got no zero values. Then we reproject. And suddenly we should have zero values. What have we got there? That's interesting. I thought, see that's square, that isn't. Why are we not? Oh, well maybe the reproject is using zero as um, now as a no data value. That's very interesting. Why on earth? Huh, so it's always something that throws you. Okay, there's zero now, and, and they were zero before. So what I like to do is just run it on a separate stream and look. Yeah, that's very interesting. So the expression evaluator must be... Oh, it's already creating the alpha band. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want the alpha band being made there because I think it would still be affecting what's going on. So here's the data. It's coming out. We've got the black, but more importantly, we don't have any other cell in there that's got zero values. So now if we go back to our uh, thing here where we set a rest, we added a, an alpha band and then set it all to, uh, to transparent if it's zero, none of those things in here should end up being transparent because they're not zero, zero, zero anymore. They are one, one, one or something like that. So the black cells that were black. I'm still trying to find one that's... Uh, but there should be some black cells in here. May, there we go, 111 now instead of 000. So it's got a full, op full opacity, not full transparency. So that worked on there. And now we've got rid of the outside. So basically what it comes down to is you need to have a value somewhere in your raster that you can use to say this is no data. Um, and either you set it to be no data, which I'm sure it will work on here, or you set it to white, or you set it to transparent, but somehow you need to have a value in there that you can use. And the best way of doing that is to make sure you've got that value before the problem is introduced. So we we sort of clear the data up there. We don't use any zero values in there. And we're never going to get a pure black cell in there. But 111 is, is so close to 000 that we'll never notice just by looking at it. Um, so, so that seems to work out OK there, I think. Uh, anyway, so that's told me what I need to know. That like, Basically, I got that right. So I can write a response now um, to that user. Or if you're watching this video, you can uh, quickly write a response and get in there in front of me and steal those reputation points. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's just what I was doing today. So I thought you might find that interesting.